between my teeth. I haven't even, I haven't even given myself a second. I've just been like, <gasps> coast is clear, vlog now. <laughs> oh man, second video of the week is up. But da, 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 da. Are you, I, <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited you'd think that, um, I don't know, that I'd won the lottery. Like even now, like eagerly picking up my camera, like, oh, vlog now, vlog now. I haven't done that in a while, so this just, I'm just so happy to be in this space again. I have had, oof, sorry. <laughs> I have had uh, a hectic day. Well, not really hectic, but kind of busy. I barely vlogged any of it, but you would have seen me mm, at the start of this vlog. I was at Juice Moo. I went and did a workout, which is the express class at CrossFit, just so you know. They've got these short 30 minute classes that they've got that they call express. Um, it's great if you're short for time. It's great if you're not new to CrossFit because they don't usually that usually have these like technical movements um, of like snatches or crazy deadlifts or anything. You usually just use dumbbells or kettlebells or just body weight. Um, but it's also a great hit workout. And I'm trying to balance between general CrossFit, which is like how much chest is burning, my shoulders are dying, it's over. <laughs> and HIIT workouts because my cardio and my uh, endurance could be better. Um, so I did one of those and then I showered and got dressed from there and then just sat and did work. <laughs> and the work was like emails, looking at contracts, which I still have to do so much more of. Um, but at least I responded to a couple of uh, important things that were pending. I also edited the vlog that went up last week Thursday. Please let me know what you think. I feel, uh, you know, <laughs> after I vlogged and I was like, you know what, I want to be more myself, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to wear a sweater. Um, it's a little bit chilly. I had to go get water because I'm playing myself talking and I'm just like, I needed a second, a, a mouthful of water. But anyway, I was just saying that. <laughs> Um, I, in my last video, I was like, I'm gonna be honest and I'm just gonna really say what I think. And then I answered this question about like, do I respond to all my DMs or do I just like check them and then decide not to? And now I've just been like, wait, what if I didn't show enough appreciation? What if people are like, wait a second, you seem a little bratty. What if I was rude? Was I rude? Did I like ne neglect to acknowledge a different kind of group or party or people or feelings or. <laughs> I'm feeling that and I'm just like, gosh. And, I, and maybe for some people, they might just be like, Sharon, that is the least of your worries. What are you even talking about? That's so tiny. How are you even thinking about that still? But I guess that's what I mean. Like for the longest time, I was so focused on not rattling the cage or like making people feel uncomfortable or, or any of that so much so that I wouldn't even you know, answer a question about DMs because I'd be so scared. Oh, no one's ever gonna DM me again and they'll think I'll never respond to anything ever again, which isn't, is it, it's not what I said. <laughs> anyway, I'm just keen to see what people say and um, open to whatever honest feedback is going to come, critical feedback as well, I'm here for it. Um, and I, also, I'm curious to see what QOTDs will come up because I will answer one or two in this vlog and I'm excited to do that. It literally just went live like two minutes ago um, and, and so I, I, I don't know. I haven't seen what people are saying just yet. I'm not even sure people have really watched it anyway. Um, right, so finished that, fit, did some work, edited and then rushed to burn body which someone at some point was like, is that all you do, go to the gym? <laughs> and I thought, if it really was all I do, go to the gym. And I'll tell you about my set in a bit, just in case anyone's interested. But if really that's all I did, go to the gym, I would not be complaining. And this morning when we were at um, CrossFit, Tats and I were just like, this place is just amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. It feels like family. You feel connected. You'd never want to leave. And I and we were both just on the same wavelength. And if you've been to CrossFit Kwetu, you know what I'm talking about. And I think that's what they've got perfect. Like, they've got great coaches. They've got, you know, decent equipment and all of that. But, like, it's the community. It's that camaraderie it's that cheering each other on it's checking in on each other's goals there's just something there that's 
special. And I'm really grateful to be part of the community and I would highly um, recommend it if you want to join us. I'd love that. Um, right, so went to Burn Body and then did an Eldoa class. Now, before I put the clips up, because I should have technically just shown you what happened, but <laughs> when you see the clips, you will understand why I'm laughing. And at this point, I really wish I had angled the camera better so that it could see me as well. Um, sorry, slight, slight runny nose. <laughs> I angled it so that you could see the coach, the instructor. But had I known what we were doing, which I had no clue when I was walking into that studio, I would have angled it so that you could see me too. I don't know if you could even see Tiff, but I just know you could see the instructor, Charles. He was, you know, trained for this. And, and just to give you a brief understanding of where Eldoa comes from, which I know I will butcher, so my best advice to you would be to just Google E-L-D-O-A, Eldoa. Um, but it came from a French chiropractor and it's, a, it's essentially geared to help with your posture. And because a lot of us, like, did you see, even see that? Like, I wasn't, I wasn't even sitting upright. I was like this already. We're all like this because we're on our laptops or we're on our phones or our kids too. We're like training them to kind of start off life like this. So it's, it's geared, oh gosh, I really just need to work on that. I really do. It's geared to help with your posture and elongate your spine. And all of that will have benefits to the rest of your body, to better sleep, the whole nine yards. Um, but when we started and he's like, stand up. And then I'm not even going to tell you. I'll just insert the clips here. Okay. All right. Do you mind? Do you want to say hi to my Oh, I'm saying hi? Yeah. Do oh, just a quick wave. That's Charles. Hello. Or Charlie. He's the one who's taking us through Eldoa, and I'll give you a brief um, update as to what Eldoa is about, assuming I get it right. But I think I, I got it right from what you, sure. I remember what you said. And then that's Tiff, and she's the one who's been telling me how terrifying this thing is going to be. So wish us luck. All right, so we just started the march. What? Tell you that I'll miss you. I'll miss you if you go. Yes, I'm gonna let you know just how much I tell you, Mama. I tell you, Papa. Dying. I'm dying. And I was like, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna have to laugh. <laughs> and I just burst into laughter because I was like, what are we doing? And then by minute 30, 40, I was like, I can't, I can't hold this position any longer. What's going on? Can we just pause? Because you were being forced to like really elongate your spine, hands up, straight to the ceiling, straight, straight, straight. And then your toes and how you're supposed to sit at like a 90 degree angle, which with my hip, I was like, I could barely keep up with some of those things. Um, but it was such an interesting session and I'm going to insert those other clips here now so that you get a sense of some of the other things we were doing, like trying to get your balance right and get your hip. Oh, I, I won't be able to, of course I don't know it as well as he does, so I won't be able to describe it perfectly, but I'll just insert the clips here. I'm going to tell you Tell you that I want you. I want to let you know. Oh, you're the only one for me. No one else. I'm going to shout it out. Yeah. Up on the mountaintop. I'm going to let everyone know about my. So there were those other clips. Oh, not clips, but there were those other movements too. And it was an hour long. And then. I went and had a coffee with a friend of mine, Tiff, who you've, you would have seen in the Aldoa class and you have seen her in a number of my other trapeze classes. We went to Ankole, which is somewhere I'm dying to take you and I will be able to do that tomorrow. 
Guys, come in close. Stop. Stop. Stop what you're doing. I know if you're watching this as you're doing something else, washing dishes, maybe you're in the shower. I don't even care if you're in the bathroom taking a poop. I just need you to stop and listen to me right here, right now. You have to try the Mutura from Ankole Kitisuru. I don't know if they're Ankole um, restaurant in Kilimani is the same and if they'll do the exact same. Mutura, maybe they do, maybe they have been, I'm not sure. All I know is I've only ever eaten it at their Kichisu space and also the space is just beautiful. But what you need to try is their Mutura and then thank me later. And now you can go back to whatever it is you were doing. <laughs> you were doing, but it's so good. And I know this because one, David, who's my friend, David Murali, um, who's a foodie as well, rates it so highly, like he loves it. Okay, that's one. Two, I say it's good. <laughs> I know my word isn't much when it comes to the food world, but just trust me, it's good. Three, my mother, who has had mutura in all corners of this country, like on the side of the road, that nice little, uh, not even nice, it's like that little restaurant in Kajiado, you name it. She's had mutura from all corners of this, of this city, or country rather. And when I took her there last week, she was just like, what is this? How many pieces do I have? I'm counting because I need to count and see, you know how when something's so good and you're like, how far is someone with their meal? That was my mom. <laughs> it's so good. It hits the spot real good. If you're not familiar with what Mutura is, I just won't describe it. I, I, I won't try and explain what it is. I just also think it, would, it might be a little bit, bit difficult for you to take that in, so I, I won't do it. And don't Google it, please. Just go have it. Um, because someone like Tiff has never tried it. Although she did talk about black pudding in the UK and I thought, oh, I have no idea what black pudding is. Maybe. I mean, I do have an idea because she explained what it was and I was like, oh, maybe something like that. <laughs> um, right, so we went and had, we didn't have the motura. We're going back tomorrow and by we, I mean you and I <laughs> and my dad. Um, it's like a late Father's Day gift celebration moment for me and him so we're going back there tomorrow and i am excited to have it i haven't had it since last week i like how i'm like hmm I, i'm trying to just contain my excitement and have it weekly so that i don't overdo it the way i overdo it with things like salted caramel and all of that stuff that you guys know that i get obsessive with so once a week is like my thing here and then I rushed home and I got straight to finishing up the video and making sure that it was up at 5 p.m. And that's it for my Thursday. I will end today here. I'm going to show you though what I'm wearing, the um, outfit, which I should tell you where it's from too. Okay, I'm going to stand back. It's from Night Spice Pajamas. I guess they started off with pajamas and then they branched out to like sportswear and activewear. Um, I've got another set. This was a PR product and it was kindly sent to me. I've got another one that I wore and I really, really like. Um, it's in, where is it here? I can't quite see it, but it's in a, oh wait, just a second. Oh, it's in this like beautiful mint green. I've just seen because I tagged them last week and I couldn't remember what color it was, but it's in a beautiful mint green. I love these pieces, not so much for CrossFit because I'm conscious that like if this gets wet or sweaty, which I do get sweaty in a CrossFit class, as is expected. Regular classes would, I wouldn't do like a CrossFit class because I would just get like sweaty and then you just see sweat everywhere, like everywhere and I would rather not. Um, but I would wear it to yoga, which is less exerting and less sweaty. Things like this would be on one, the other set that she gave me. I really like this and that's what it looks like. Come on. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to bid you good night and I will see you in the morning. I can't let you go, baby.
morning, you guys. I was just putting on my contact lenses. I had them delivered. I have to say, actually, I've never said this before, but I get my contact lenses from the Urban Tortoise at uh, Rosalind Riviera, and they deliver just in case you're ever in like quick need, desperate need of contact lenses. I'd recommend trying them, but you'd need to know what your uh, prescription is and all of that. Um, contact lenses are in, and now I'm about to power through the quickest but hopefully one of the nicest get ready with me moment. No, actually it's not a get, you're not getting ready with me, but like get ready session. I have a shoot this afternoon and I just want to look decent for, I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna go all out. Not that I usually do anyway, I'm just, I'm just gonna try and look like myself. Um, but I did take out the rastas so that I could have like a sleek bun. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll do like a side part. I don't even know if I want it like low. I don't know. But I also just want to say <laughs> that my hair is at that length where it's just long enough that you your arms get tired. You're just kind of like, I, I just can't, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. But we are going to be bothered today. I will show you what we look like after. <laughs> and I'm done. I'm ready to go. I'm in the dress that I will now refer to, affectionately so, by the way, as the grandmother dress. <laughs> um, my friend said she watched the video and she was like, yeah, I agree with your mom. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. <laughs> um, but I freaking love it. I love it. I have uh, paired it with a belt that's actually supposed to be with the crossbody bag from Sandstorm. I freaking love this. I... Um, I've got minimal jewelry. I actually had a pearl bracelet on, but then I felt it was like now it's taking it strong in the grandma zone, which is okay with me. But I felt for this look, I wanted it to be a little bit more edgy, and that's why even I I had um, these. Let me just focus these studs on. I can't remember where I got it, but I have a feeling it was from Diamond Plaza. Not entirely sure, but I've had them for ages. I had these on, and I just felt that. These gold hoops, there we go. These gold hoops would be a slightly better match. And then these boots are actually ones that I had, um, I got from Brian. And I have to say they're one of <laughs> my favorite items in my closet, even though I wear them the least. I, lit I don't know, I think I probably pick them up maybe twice a year, but every time I do, mm, it just like, wraps up a look so perfectly completely just finishes it off perfectly um and they've got like a slight fishnet uh section to them let me try to show it to you like this so you can you see what i mean so it's a little bit what is it really sheer not quite um but i i just like i just i just i'm i'm here for my little pairing i do have a second uh look which I think will be needed because I, I believe they wanted like a video version and a photo version, um, so two looks. I will show you the second look. I freaking love the pairing. I will be wearing the boots again. I've got jeans for the second one and a shirt that is just, ah, oh, perfection. It is from the brand, just a second. Savaria. I have had um, this shirt in my closet for a while and I've been saving it for like the ultimate place because it's re once you see it you'll know what i mean it's like a really dressy piece and this is the brand Ooh, whoops let me see if it will focus come on there we go that's the brand so they have like these really really avant-garde um takes on on fashion so like that for instance is not your everyday blazer but hopefully for a shoot, it'll be fun. I've all, it's the one I've got is actually a shirt. I think I'm gonna leave now. If I leave now, I should get there perfectly on time. I don't know if I can film whilst I'm there, but if I can, I will see you at the shoot. If I can't, I will see you back here, possibly tomorrow. I'm not sure I will film again today. Um, actually, whoa, I didn't even give you an update on yesterday. Um, so you would have seen some clips from, what is it again? Ankole, um, in Kitisu. I was gutted when I got there and I realized that 
despite um, me making a booking from 12 to 2 and kind of just checking in like will you have it will you have the mutura it was only going to be ready at three i literally i thought i was gonna cry i thought i was gonna cry i really did um but david who i've spoken about before and i think i've even vlogged with him in the past he was there and he was like don't worry i'm gonna organize it um and we'll make it happen uh, but by the time it was ready for delivery it was a little bit late so i've decided that it's just best to go back to Ankole and have the motura and bring you for the actual experience none of this is sponsored by the way i just actually live for that appetizer meal it's not a meal because it's not the way they've done it it's not a full-on meal um it's an appetizer but it just it's so good it's so good so i'll take you back for that um and what else did we do yesterday i didn't really film it but i did have my session with yarden in the morning and i have to say it was my favorite trapeze yoga session yet i loved it it was also the most difficult in that i i was sweating at the beginning and i was like yarden yarden this is not what i signed up for but by the time we were finishing i was just like ah oh, thank you thank you thank you it was so good it was so good um and then spent the evening with friends so i didn't really film that like um it was like a family oriented evening so i didn't film that part and the portion of a majority of my saturday morning was actually spent in <laughs> actually it was spent with family yes but i was trying to undo my hair because <laughs> i had the little matutas to get it to this state um oh i haven't talked about it but you guys the palm cosmetics faux pony oh game changer yo i just pray they have it like in a like a number two because i will buy that um i think the one i have actually currently the one i bought because this was sent to me i think you would have seen it two videos ago or maybe three videos ago now um but the one i had before they sent this to me is also this shade of black so i don't know if they have like variations in color like slight variations but i'm telling you oh, first of all it's longer it's softer it just works better here because of the technique. The tying technique is different. I'm telling you, you wanna get yourself one of these ponies. Um, the one I bought the first time, I've worn it a million times. This one, I will wear it even more. It's amazing, it's amazing. All right, I'm gonna go now and hopefully I will see you at my shoot. Fingers crossed. Hey, hey. Can't let you go, baby. I gotta tell you that I won't let go. I've been looking for love so true. When I was down and down, along came you. Though you might be a liar and a cheat too. I just can't quit you now, cause I love you. Yes, I do. I look half asleep it's because I feel half asleep and I'm struggling a little um, on my period so like I generally just feel bruised everywhere and after yesterday's touch rugby which wasn't fully touch rugby because one of the guys tackled me he didn't really tackle me he just kind of slammed into me knocked the wind out of me and I could like I feel extra bruised like I was on the floor <gasps> trying to take in air and just thinking like how do people actually do this like on a like real rugby not touch rugby um and before anyone says it or i know people are thinking it like why continue doing it you've already been bruised and injured so many times but i enjoy it it's like once and yesterday i was like no no, no i'm not gonna actually play i'm just gonna sub most of the time i'm not gonna actually play and i find myself being like mm, i want to play i want to play um Anyway, I'm not feeling my best. I just wish I could spend the whole day in bed, but that's not going to be possible. Um, and in fact, I've just been like trying to get things ready because I've got like a bit of a different week. I've got a couple of late evening type things, like one's like a dinner with friend and another one is a black, no, it's not a black tie. It's a cocktail event, which I'll take you to. And it's something special that i'll need to sit down and speak to you guys about um actually that thing is related to the shoot that i had on saturday which i couldn't 
film much of. Um, even the little that I captured I hope is okay for me to share, but I didn't really share much so hopefully it's not going to be an issue with the brand but it's something that's really exciting that very soon I'll be able to share more details about um, but it was a really good shoot as you have seen I was with Victoria Kimani which was just like what and um, I can't wait for you guys to see like what we were up to I just can't say too much but it was a uh, it was good it was funny um, and it was fun. It was fun. And it was a good crew, too. Uh, yeah, so I got home quite late, though. Like, a lot later than I thought I would. Um, and Sunday, for me, I rarely pick up my phone to kind of create any content. I don't... I rarely pick up my camera um, on Sundays. But it's usually just, like, rugby in the morning and then, like, a relaxed afternoon movies and I've tried to be a little bit more open about watching animations and like Disney type films because I'm like the worst if you know me you know like an animation is not my cup of tea um, but I've tried to and so it's usually like I've at least at the very least what I've turned it into is that well if I'm gonna sit down and try and watch one of those then I might as well be having a really good snack which for me that's popcorn and um, and that's homemade popcorn and uh, Maltesers. The combo, woo, so good. Um, and Monday, which is where we're at today, so much is happening this week and I'm trying to like whew, not lose my head because there's like I'm being pulled in a million and one directions, which I'm starting the week feeling grateful for. Like I'm, I'm like, oh, okay, I kind of missed this like pull. Um, and before I jump out to the house and get to my week and all the work that needs to be done, like I've got a couple hours I need to spend in front of my laptop um, and a workout, hence in, I'm in, the reason I'm in my workout gear. Um, before I jump into that, I wanted to show you something that was sent uh, to my PR box. I'm going to call it PR box because actually I've got a system now where this uh, all, all the stuff that's sent to me isn't actually sent to my house. It's sent to... Um, someone else's business space and I think it's just completely changed the game for me because it got so cumbersome trying to you know be on the phone trying to make sure directions are right and then I started to feel uncomfortable about like ugh, giving directions and and so it's just really convenient that I've got Irene and she's just it's perfect, the system that we've got in place. So anyway, this was sent to the, my PR box. I would, I guess, call it that. Um, and it is from Nelani. Um, there we go. The note on the side says, from Nelani with love, Sharon Mundia. I didn't open them, but I did kind of take a peek and I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait till I'm filming before I, I open it up. Um, but look at how they've done it. They've even got like little stickers and it's like wrapped properly. Um, it says here, the sticker says, you've got great taste. Um, and then their, their website. And it also has a card. It says, at Nalani, our pieces are especially designed to accentuate the experience of the African woman in fashion, elevating her experience to the same standards of quality, comfort, and functionality, regardless of her size. And we hope our pieces make you feel as such. We can't wait to see you rock the pieces. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, let's see. So, they actually let me choose the items. But I guess I've forgotten what I'd chosen. Oh yes, a ship's dress. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, again, it's in an animal print. This is zebra, zebra? Or is this like a tiger print? I'm now not even sure anymore. I'm not sure. What would you call this, tiger or zebra? I'm not sure, but it's got like a very, Oh, a slight A-line fit to it, so it's going to just like uh, give you all the wiggle room that you need. It's also got these really long, I guess, bows at the top, what you could you could potentially tie into a bow or just leave them hanging if you choose. I will definitely try this on for you. I got this in a size, what is the size? Oh, free size. It's a free size, okay. 
Oh good, I wonder what it looks like. You know what, I'm gonna pack a belt so that when I do try this on for you, I've got um, a belt, I've got a belted option to the, just so that we can see what it looks like. Now this one with his big head is gonna block everything. Okay, okay, move quickly, quickly, quickly. I'm gonna add that. She <laughs> so it's a couple hours later and I'm actually at my mom's house now. I have to rush here. But my makeup is done, my hair is did, and I'm in the first dress that I showed you guys. I freaking love this. When my mom saw it actually, she wanted to take it off me, so that's how popular this dress has already become in the span of the two hours that it's just come into my world. She was like, mmm, so when you're done, can I start with that? Dad, do you need to pass? No. No? You'll just stand there and stare at your vlog? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I love it. My mom's up. My brother's just gonna walk right past. This is great. Okay. I'm leaving that in the vlog. <laughs> okay. That's what happens when I'm not in my house and I'm not in control of like who's gonna come in or out. Anyway, um, they just came and left. That's it. Mm -hmm. Wow. They would literally were here for two minutes maybe. Um, anyway, I love the quality of this dress. I love the freedom, like I'm a lover of shift dress, dresses. Um, I've got a number in my closet. I just think they're cozy, comfortable, easy to wear. I love that this is free size. Like, yeah, just it's it for me. I did want to see what it would look like with the belt though. Well, I'm gonna come in close and show you guys that it's also got a couple of buttons uh, on here. But I wanted to put a belt on just because it would allow me to do two things. The first is, shorten the dress a little. I tend to like my, make sure I'm not belting up my pony. I tend to like my dresses a little bit shorter. Wow, Yuki, you can crash the party. Everyone's crashed it anyway, so it's okay. Um, uh, there we go. Oh, I'm not sure I should actually be doing this with a mirror in front of me, but I don't have a mirror and I, this it's is like, literally a I know in front of me. I yeah, but you could just literally turn around. I know, around. but I'm just trying to be like to show you guys how we're going with my vision before going to the mirror. I'll check in the mirror if if it's where I want it to be. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but it's shorter in the front and longer in the back, which is even like bonus points. Um, but what I would do is kind of like lift my body up a little and let it sit and see if I'm. Let me just actually check in the mirror. Um, oh, isn't it so cute? I look so, excuse me, excuse me. Um, I don't know where I'm going, but someone take me somewhere. I need to go somewhere. <laughs> I need to catch up with my dad and brother. Be like, I'm coming. I don't care if we're going to a farm. I'm coming because I look cute. Oh my God, this is perfect. Ah, man. I could have worn this on Saturday for the, um, what is it, for the, the production, the filming stuff that I still can't tell you about. I think this would have been a really pretty piece, but it's okay. It's okay. I love it. My mom did say, actually, she said I have, uh, a, 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 she didn't specify the amount of time, but she just said, just enjoy it for now because I'm coming to your closet to take it. <laughs> No, thank you. I, I'm gonna see if they've got, I think, do they have different prints of this? I don't know if they did, but I hope they make them. Like I would buy this in all the different variants that they have. I just love this so much. Oh, I didn't even notice that my bow belt is tucked underneath, which I don't mind so much because I'd rather that it wasn't just flying all over. But I am obsessed. Second pearl. I love it. Now I want to show you the second dress actually. No, well, let's talk about the second dress and then I'll put on the second dress for you guys to see because I freaking love this one. Second thing. Wow, I'm, I forgot I'm clearly into this, this print. Oh yes, I remember, I remember. This looks like the ultimate like slinky dress. I think it hits you about mid-calf. I'm not sure. I'll have to try it on. I'm so curious. I just have to stand up and see where it's going to hit me. Oh, yes. Yes. It's mid cough. It's a midi. I love. I hope it fits that way when I actually wear it, but it looks like it would fit. It would be the perfect length for me. I can't wait to try this on. I hope it fits right though. I'm just looking at the side here and I wonder if I ordered something. No, maybe not too big. 
you know what I just realized more and more? I have no idea what my <laughs> size is. Like I'll, I think I have a different idea to what my body actually is. Like up here in reality is a little bit different. <laughs> a little bit different. Um, but I really liked, I really liked the print and I really liked the cut of this. I've got another dress that's kind of like this in my closet, a black one, if you know the one I'm talking about. I've worn it a million times. I think this would be like a dressier version because of the print. But I'm gonna try this on and let you know. I just also have to say, just from touching both of them, the quality feels really, really good. And they're both made in Kenya. Like it feels, I'm getting excited about, about these two. I have to say the dress feels really, really good. I got it in a size medium. It comes with these little clasps that allow you to change the length of the strap if you want to. Um, the thing with slinky type dresses for me is that I feel like it fits great here. Also, forget what I said about like it's being like me being unsure about the fitting. It fits amazing. But like here feels great. It feels like it, no, it feels perfect. It feels perfect. But from around like, here, I guess that's normal, huh? Like the more hippie and bummy you are, then the more it kind of gathers around here, which I don't mind so much. I think I like how this drapes on my body even better than my black one. The bottom has like a slight wave to it. Like it just, it feels like it's been designed, like they said, like with a curvy woman in mind because I have enough room for even like if you had more hips and bum to this, it would be perfect. I like that it hits below my knees, as you can tell. Um, I think maybe I wish it was a little bit longer, but that's just on the way it sits on my body, really. It's just how it sits on my body. But uh, love it, love it, love it. And let me show you the back, actually. Don't judge what I've done with my pony. I've literally tried to put it on as quickly as possible, but that's it for my back. I I love it and I think what I also really love is how it drapes at the front here that there's like a uh, like a relaxed like almost thoughtless nature to how it falls but you know it was like really intentionally placed around here love it I also just have to say my sister's holding it for me like a tripod thank you Amani I have to say I'm not wearing a bra with this this is the kind of like moment I dream of. Please don't force me to wear a bra if I don't have to. And I'm not. I'm okay with it. It may not be the thing, the case for other women. I feel like Amani is slowly like cutting up. You should see. You <laughs> started see. off here and then slowly you were just like down, 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 down. Like you're tired. You're like, yeah, over. Um, perfect. Um, yeah, I'm not wearing a bra and I kind of don't mind it. I know for some people they might be like, yeah, I'm not really sure about it and you want your boobs more perky, which, you know, to each their own. Um, and I bet with a good strapless bra, that would be the case. And it doesn't go down too deep at the back so it wouldn't show. <sighs> no, it's okay, it's good. I can't, let, let me just, it. let me I, just no, no, turn no. it around. Oh yeah, turn, turn it around, turn it around. Sorry, I just, I, she wasn't looking at the, the viewfinder. I placed it so that I can look at myself. I just wanted to come in closer to show you the print, which doesn't come straight, like it's not straight, like where the lining sits. The print is kind of skewed a little bit to one side, but I don't mind that at all. Um, but I just wanted to bring it closer for you to see the print in action. In my <laughs> forehead in action. All right, I'm gonna now try and finish uh, packing. I'm gonna spend the night at my mom's, at my parents' house. I don't know why I call it my mom's house as if it's, as if my dad is not, is just like a visitor or something, but anyway mom's house, <laughs> mom and dad's. I'm gonna spend the night there tonight. Um, and, oh gosh, oh wow, I've just remembered something that I was supposed to do tomorrow night. <gasps> wow, 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 I've remembered and I need to message Mundi. <laughs> Whoops, um, and I, yeah, I need to get going. I will see you, I think next at the gym, maybe? Or maybe at my mom's house, I don't know, we'll see. Seriously, how gorgeous were those dresses? I've just finished uh, the try-on section and I've of what you'd have just watched those clips and I've um, changed into what I'm gonna wear for the day, uh, which is a jumpsuit, a kind of old one from Boohoo, or is it Nasty Gal? 
it's from last year I can't remember but I like how it kind of just is like like even on camera I feel like if I don't know I just like the play on the polka dots and how it can be a little bit trippy to look at kind of um I feel like I need to refix my ponytail but I don't have time much time for that because I've got a meeting that starts just a little over an hour from now that I need to rush to and then I will meet you back here later this evening. I wanted to shout out my fragrance of the day and it is Tom Ford's Metallic, which when my sister took a whiff of this just now, she was like, oh, this is what you usually smell like. And I thought that was interesting because I don't know if I reach for this that often, but I guess it's enough for her to think that this is my scent. Why are you looking at me funny? Yeah, why are you talking about me? Because you're talking, because I was talking about how you said I smell like this a lot, which I didn't even think was the case. Can I say that you're turning a year older yeah. on Wednesday? She's turning 18 on Wednesday and we're going to celebrate. I won't really take you through it. She's dancing. I won't really like bring you along on the actual day, but maybe for the prep work because she's um, chosen something really interesting to do for Wednesday. Has she chosen or did no, I have to chose. shove it down your throat like, please do this, this is fun. I'll tell you what it is. Um, I'll tell you what it is on my next vlog, not in today's vlog. For now, I need to go for my meeting. <laughs> I'm back at my parents' house now and I don't know how great the lighting is here. Oh, it's okay. Maybe if I like bend over like this a little bit. I'm in the bathroom. I don't know if you can hear the helicopter flying overhead. I don't know if you can hear the music coming from one of the rooms. I hope not, none of the above. Um, but I'm just about to take my makeup off. I'm also gonna jump in the shower and jump into some cozy pajamas. I've not had, actually, I don't think I even mentioned this in the morning, but in the, um, or earlier today, because it's now like 7 p.m. But um, when I got here, my cramps had gotten really bad. Had I even talked about having cramps? I can't remember, maybe. Um, but they'd gotten so bad, I had to actually take painkillers. And I try not to take painkillers, despite not liking pain at all. I try to wait it out, and I just feel like, I don't know, I don't want to get my body too used, but it was getting to the point where I was very unhappy. Um, so I took some painkillers. I carried my hot water bottle here, so I also had that. And I had like a maybe 30 minute pant lie and it started to feel better, thankfully. That's why I started filming like the clothes try on and I was able to go for my meeting and just continue with the rest of my day. But I still have a bunch of work to do on my laptop and I'm already tapped out for the day. So truthfully, I don't think I'll do it today. I think I might just have an early start tomorrow. But for now, I wanted us to use the Halo um, pads, <laughs> makeup remover pads. I have used this before, but when I did, I had gone through the first step of using an oil cleanser. I didn't carry my oil cleanser today. So today we're going in with the, the Halo. <laughs> and I'm feeling a little bit anxious. Um, let me just wash my hands. Uh, although it wasn't so bad, like when I used it the last time, it was good and it did the job. I washed it afterwards and it was fine. But, I don't know. I think I'm just nervous that, uh, I don't know. <laughs> this will look a, very, very dark in a few minutes. And I, I've got my second cleanser though. I've got my second cleanser, which is this one. I've really been loving this. It's the Pigment Claw from La Roche-Posay. Um, it's a it's a brightening, foaming cream cleanser. It feels really good on my skin. <coughs> Love it. Okay, so I've wet it a little bit, and actually, you know what? I'm gonna take out my faux pony. This is the same one from what is it? Palm Cosmetics. Ay ay ay! I love it. I love it. Oh. I'd started to, and then I. I realized I wanted to film this part, so I went and grabbed my camera. And now I don't know what part to take out. Oh, there. Oh, you know the part I, about this that I don't like, actually? I should say, say this. It's held together by um, that. What is that fabric? That, not fabric, that, um, oh. 
Oh wait, I, I, there we go, there we go. It's got this, uh, what is that? What do you call that? That. That technology that just makes closing things easier. If it gets caught on your actual hair, misery. That is not fun at all. Um, and it only ever happens to me when I'm putting on the hair. Taking it off isn't usually too bad. Putting it on is where I have to be so gentle because if it gets caught even a little, not fun. Anyway, uh, oh, earrings. Ooh, I'm so happy I'm remembering these before my hands are mucky and messy. Oh, okay, my sister's listening to Sam Smith. I can hear it. Okay, damp. That's what my face looks like. Let's do this. You're not supposed to put a cleanser, right? I want to say no, you're not. But I can't quite remember. Oh wow, first of all, oh wow. Wait, that's... That's surprisingly easy. Wow. I mean, when I've freshly when I've freshly done my eyebrows, which I did them last week, like they constantly just look like they've I've still filled them in. Which thank the good lords for the jeans, but that's fully wiped out. Like I don't think there's anything on there any more makeup. My eyes still have mascara, but that's okay. That's why we go in with the second cleanse. But that is really impressive. Oh, you can see I don't have any marks or anything. But I mean, I don't have any actual acne. Or pimples on me right now but you can see the um, marks that are left behind from from the last few weeks let me do the other side now oh and because I've got contact lenses I especially have to be gentle around my eyes because otherwise I'll just flick one out <laughs> and I don't want that wow mightily impressed for like a first cleanse okay now let me do the rest of my cleanse um, but again, I'm going to link this just in case anyone's curious to try it out. I got it from Amazon in Dubai and shipped it in with malahide and love it. Love it. Also, easier to transport than a, a not having another bottle or another product to put into my skincare bag. It's just a lot easier to have this than like a first cleanse and then second cleanse and all of that. I will see you once I'm in my pajamas, which I'm really excited to show you because I got new ones a few weeks ago and I love them. They're so cute. I'm all showered. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm all showered and cozy and in my pajamas that I wanted to show you. Uh, how, like, is, is it the vibes or is it the vibes? I actually got this from Elsie Waikiki three weeks ago, I believe, and I have worn it multiple times. I have to say, it's not as like, the fabric is different from my other one. So the other one feels like buttery soft, like, ah, uh, warm even, but this, Fabric is different. I, 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 don't, I don't know what it is, but I guess that's why they're able to have this palm print on it. But it just gives me like, you know, guys would need to be on a, some kind of vacation at this point because I'm giving you all the vibes. I actually wore this, um, oh, I didn't, I wore this one night when I was just at home with my mom and I jumped on my stories to say something, which I hadn't planned on doing, but I just quickly jumped on my stories to say something. And my sister Fatma jumps on like, oh my God, sis, that's such, that's such a cool blazer. And I was like, it's pajamas, which makes it even better that like pajamas can be this cool, this much fun. And like I said the last time, I am officially a pajama convert. I can't believe I took this long to jump on the bandwagon. And for everyone who knew about it and didn't try and push me to jump on it too, I see you, but it's okay. It's fine. We live and learn and buy new pajamas whenever we can. <laughs> but that's my goal now, to like build my pajama wardrobe to the point where I'm just like, ah. Oh. Like where I feel I am with my workout wardrobe, which I, you know, like I can go a few, a fair few number of days before having to panic. Like, oh my God, is my first sports bra clean? That's what I want for my pajamas. That's all. That's all. Anyway, I'm going to go sleep now. I've had the longest day. I can feel my cramps are like 
trying me. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna jump and get some meds. I am gonna jump and get some lip balm and go get something to eat and spend the evening with my family. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I tried looking and I didn't see any questions in the comment section of my last video. So there's no QOTD for this vlog, but if there are any questions of the day that you'd like me to answer, just leave them in the comment section below with a hashtag QOTD and I will answer them in my next video. But thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. I can't let you go, baby. I gotta tell you.